Drilling of a relief well could begin as soon as Sunday in Assumption Parish. Authorities are trying to determine if a salt cavern is responsible for a massive sinkhole and gas bubbling in nearby bayous. The company responsible for that salt cavern, Texas Brine, plans to drill 140 feet. The drilling rig will be about 2,500 feet from people living on Bayou Corn. News 2's Adrian Pittman gets answers on why some people say they fear the worst. As time continues to tick, each second leads to Wayne and Betty Byer wondering what their next move will be. But one thing is for certain, leaving behind their home of 12 years. I really didn't have any intention of leaving. For two months, the buyers have had to live with the uncertainty of bubbles on the bayou, tremors, and a massive sinkhole. To find out what's causing all of these problems, Texas Brine is drilling a relief well to figure it out. The well would be located about 2,500 feet from residents, including the buyers, and they fear the drilling could make the cavern collapse. There's too many ifs, and I, I, I'm not very good at living with ifs. Because one of them is, could be my, put me on the other side of the grass. Down this long and narrow dirt road, crews are at work prepping for the well. Texas Brine officials say at this time, they do not anticipate any risk or danger to residents. But DeWayne isn't convinced. I would still take the chance on staying, but he won't. No, it's uh, It's too much of a risk. Uh, 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 dead is forever. The buyers are thankful for Texas Brine stepping up to the plate, but it's not enough to make them feel at home again. Unfortunately, this area will never be like what it was two months ago. Adrian Pittman, WBRZ, Balance News. Parts of the drilling rig start arriving from Lafayette tomorrow. Something fishy is going on in the state next door. For a week now, a giant sinkhole, as long as a football field and 400 feet in some places, has been wreaking havoc in Ascension Parish. Hundreds have been told to evacuate as a sinkhole gobbles up trees. What's more, the sinkhole is next to a massive amount of liquid butane, which could be catastrophic if it catches fire. The residents want answers, and it's going to take a lawsuit to get them. Landowners near the sinkhole have filed a lawsuit against the Department of Natural Resources and a Houston-based mining company, Texas Brine. So how does a Houston company fall in all this? The state says Texas Brine cut into a cavern, which is now underneath the sinkhole, when it was expanding its salt mine last year. Could that have caused the sinkhole? Residents claim their water is now contaminated, and they say both the department and Texas Brine knew about the problem. And if there's one thing we know, don't mess with a Cajun's drinking water. Now that's what I call high quality tool.